Immediately I'm going to be prompted to add a title, so I'm going to go ahead and add my title in here. Great, so let's just take a quick look at the newsletter. So because we chose a template, you can see the grayed out areas. So this is the suggestion of the template. We don't have to use this, but it's just an idea. So we're going to go ahead and fill that in now shortly, but first I want to take a look at our design and our customization. So on the right hand side, you can see design and underneath the drop down menu, we have a bunch of different designs that you can choose from. So I'm going to start today with minimal. I'm going to choose a background. So we have here our minimal backgrounds, which correlates with our design that we've chosen. We also have education backgrounds. And we can also add a custom background. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one. We also have fonts and colors that we can choose from. We have our pro fonts and colors, which come with our pro plans, as well as our free colors and fonts. So I'm going to choose a color that just matches the background. And I'm also going to choose my font. Perfect. Now that I've gone ahead and customized how the newsletter looks, I'm going to go ahead and fill in all the gray boxes here just to fill it out. So to edit one of these boxes, all I want to do is just click and then I can go ahead and fill it out. If I want to remove one of the boxes, all I want to do is just hover over the section and then press the X button here and then remove. If I want to move one of the sections, all I want to do is just click on it and then I can drag it to where I want it placed. So let's get started by filling out this paragraph. Next, I'm going to add a gallery. So if I want to add the gallery with titles, I can leave it as is. But if I don't want any titles underneath the photos, I just want to click on one of the arrows to the side and then I can change it. Great. Now that they've loaded, I'm going to go right ahead and start with my other paragraph. If I want to add a photo to one of the text boxes, all I want to do is just click on the arrow to the right or left, and then I can add a photo on either the right side or the left side. If I don't want to add a photo, that's also okay. I just click through until there's no longer a photo on the side. The next thing I'm going to add is going to be a bio. So once again, I just want to click on that to edit it. We can also add a photo. Great, so I can add more stuff to my newsletter either by choosing one of the buttons below, or if I want to, I can hover over a section and then press the plus button here. So I want to go ahead and add a video to this newsletter. So I'm just going to paste the video URL here. Great, now that I've added my video, I just want to add one more thing. I'm just going to add a, a button. Perfect. Now remember, if I want to move anything, all I have to do is just click and drag. The next step is just to click Done Editing. Then I can send out my newsletter through a mailing list or share it on social media. If I want to go back in and edit my newsletter, it's no problem. All I have to do is just click Edit Your Newsletter. And then I can click Preview Your Newsletter just to see how my recipients will view it. So this is what my newsletter looks like.